troops, welcome back to the Latana army. I'm Litz and this is Fortnite Save the World. And what I want to look at today is some encampments. So I'm going to show you some Fortnite Save the World gameplay and doing encampments and who the best heroes are to use when you take them out. I've got two favourites, but maybe you want to put in the comments down below who you think your favourite heroes are using, you know, when you're playing the encampment missions. So stay tuned and let's just see who is most effective. Okay, well, the most obvious hero then is Dragon Scorch because he's got such good wave clear. Do you know, he's known for being one of the best wave clears in the game. So, do you know, he's definitely the first one who I would take. Now, just going down his skills quickly, if you look on here, he's got Shinobi, so reduces fall damage taken by 10% and increases his running sprint speed. We know about that one. He's got Mantis Leap, so he can do the double jump. Now, this is where he really shines. This is where Scorch gets the dragon part of his name from. He's got Dragon Slash on there, so he springs forward three tiles, dealing 16,794.2 edged weapon and damage to all enemies within a one tile radius. He's also got Shroud of the Dragon, so the ninja goes into Shadow Stance, so as soon as he hits Dragon Slash, then he goes into Shadow Stance, which we'll explain in a second. He's got Return of the Dragon, which reduces energy cost of Dragon Slash by 15, that's quite a big deal, and then Wings of the Dragon increases the length of Dragon Slash by one tile. He's got Throwing Stars, now I'm going to play around a little bit with these today, because what I'm actually going to do is use the Cloaked Star, so he'll throw all those at once when we're using them in this encampment mission that we're going to show. So Shadow Stance, this is what we were talking about earlier. So after defeating an enemy with a melee weapon or edge damage, the ninja enters shadow stance for four seconds. So during shadow stance, damage resistance is increased by 30%, mantis leaves costs 60% less, and the ninja becomes more difficult to see. So shroud of the dragon, dragon slash now activates shadow stance, legendary blade do additional sword damage, during shadow, blitz, shadow Stance. So he's got quite a lot going on here, as you can see. Shroud of the Dragon, which is what we've just talked about. Shadow Ear Stance, so increases the resistance granted by Shadow Stance by 15%. He's got Smoke Bomb as well, and he's also got Legendary Blade on there as well, and he's also got Breath of the Dragon. Legendary Blade does an additional 35% sword damage whilst in Shadow Stance, so it's definitely worth leveling him up to get that 25th level on there. And then the 30th on there, the Breath of the Dragon, we just said, his Dragon Slash now has double its effect uh, area of effect additionally increases the damage of dragon slash by 50 percent so it uses powerful dragon slash to destroy large groups of enemies and shadow stance to survive the fury of combat so he's got good resistance in there but he's also got good skills to get in and out of combat as well which he obviously ab absolutely needs do you know what instead of that what i'm actually going to use i was going to use the cloak star i'm going to use mega base kyle just because the bonus what it gives when i hit the smoke bomb then it puts my shield back up to full which as you'll see in the gameplay with me using ninjas i absolutely need when it it comes to Dragon Scorch. Now the other one who you could use, the other hero I think is great for Wave Clear, who's not in weapons, <laughs> who would actually be the Master Grenadier Ramirez. Now if we look at these as well, Advanced Tactics, that's a standard soldier perk you've got on there. You've got Frag Grenades as well. Now Master Grenadier Ramirez, you can tell this is where she's going to shine. You've got debilitating shots, so dealing damage applies at one stack of vulnerability, increasing damage taken from all sources by 5% on the target for 15 seconds. Stacks up to three times. You've got rucksack on there as well. Now that's a big deal, because what that does increases the max grenade amount by two. So it doesn't stack with a tactical version if you've got another master grenadier in there as well. Grenade damage increases the damage of frag grenades by 25%, so her grenades do more damage than anybody else. You've got going commando when you get to two stars. Then at 12, she's actually got pulled the pin, so it reduces the cost of frag grenade by 30, so she can throw more grenades than your average soldier can as well. You've also got bigger is better, so it increases the radius of the frag grenade by 35%, and if you see that in-game, it's massive. You've also got survivalist, so in, uh, killing an enemy with an ability or weapon recovers 5 base health per second over 3 seconds. Resets, uh, kills reset the healing duration, will not activate on full health. You've also got Shockwave as well, which I think every soldier should have. Then you've got Cluster Bomb. So Cluster Bomb releases six explosions around the impact site that will each do 25% of the original damage. And then the last off, same as the Urban Assault, which is a huge skill, is Keep Out. So it leaves a residual energy field during uh, doing 15% of the initial grenade blast damage every one second over 10 seconds. So an explosives expert with a powerful high-end frag grenade upgrades. So another great one there. Probably my secondary choice for encampments would be Master Grenadier Ramirez but you can more than hold her own even in the top end. So let's jump into actual, an actual encampment mission then and just see how well we get on with these characters. Okay, so we're starting off with a Ye Ye Masamune, and if you look over there, you can see, I told you, you've got the beam of light, so you can always find the encampments straight away. You don't have to wait around for them. You can actually find them pretty much immediately when you jump in. I don't know why I built that big platform to stand on. It's a giant beam of light there. 
So let's just make our way over there right now. Now the first couple of encampments you should be able to do yourself. There we go, and that's his dragon slash right there, which is absolutely awesome. And we've got the Ye Ye and Masamune, which I've learned to say over about, what, three videos? Now, when his shield goes down, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a smoke bomb. Just to show you guys just how it works. Now look, that was the first encampment. Super easy. Okay, so let's have a look for the next beam of light. I might need to go a little bit higher up. <laughs> I always do this just because it's so much faster. Oh, look, it's all the way over there. Okay, so we need to head kind of like northeast. Okay, here it is. So even the second one, we should be absolutely fine doing. It's when you get to like the third and fourth, it starts getting that you can't do it on your own. And obviously look for the blasters first, because they're the first ones that have got to go. Oh, look at that. That's just that dragon slash there going in. You've also got the uh, the ninja stars as well. I mean, you can put a gun on. You don't have to not use a gun with ninjas. <laughs> oh, Black Spy is here to help us. I keep pressing reload with the sword. There we go. And then we'll go in with the wave clear again. That's the B guy's gone. Do you know what? Maybe the cloak star's not a bad uh, tactical to have in this one. So that you can fire all your stars at once. There we go. Okay, so there we go. So this one's going to be a lot tougher now because this is the fourth encampment. So they're going to get harder. And then at the end, you get the super encampments as well. So they're going to be fun. And we've got the extra resistance on there. And we've also got on there as well. Let's get these. We've also got on there as well the smoke bomb that we can use. Okay, let's not fall down again. Okay, let's go. So we've put that on. So that we can drag and slash into them. That's the only way to do it with this guy. Okay, I don't know if I'll be able to get him up on time. Probably not. Oh, uh, not good. Okay, and we'll use the uh, we'll use the health on him as well. Let's get her. Oh, she's gone. Okay. All right. So I'm guessing these guys fell off from knockback, and we do it. And that was with just two of us. With Dragon Scorch, as I said, you're just clearing tons of them out at a time. Okay, we can kind of use this tree to our advantage. All right, we could. <laughs> Until he destroyed it. Okay, there's only so much resistance you're going to get. Let's get the heavy attack on him. All right, no, we're not. Oh, all right, we got him. We got him. So look, that's prime Dragon Scorch territory right there, look. And that's most of them wiped out. Okay, so we're looking for blasters to start off with. Damn it, I kind of fell a bit short with that one. Alright, yeah, we are taking some hits. Let's put the turret up for him. Okay, there's B dudes. Alright, I need to get into a good place to actually execute this dragon slash from. That'll do it. And they're all just about wiped out. Two of them left. Look how easy that is. And it's similar when you're using Master Grenadier Ramirez. All you do instead, you actually just use the grenades. And she's got all these static grenades around her as well, which is fantastic. Okay, we've just... Oh, look, there's, there's a blaster. Oh, now this, this is going to be tough. <laughs> all right, we're on low energy as it is. Smoke bomb look to get the shield back up. And we've got Shadow Stance then with the resistance on it. There you go, Dragon Slash towards this one. Textbook. All right, not textbook. No textbook. Okay, let's just hide a little minute. I didn't want to hide that far. Okay, I really need that Dragon Slash to come back up. Okay, let's just put a wall up just to protect ourselves a little bit for now. Okay, turret up. Still going. We're still alive somehow. There you go. Utilizing skills. I think the turret's done most of the work there. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh, my God. This is why they're called super encampments. Okay, let's get down to them. We should, if we can get up close to them, then we do absolutely fine. Smoke bomb there. Get the shield back up. Get out of the pools of acid. There you go. Look, these blasters are our job. I think we're doing okay for now. Okay, so we've got a blaster there. When he goes down. Got another one over here. Let's go and get him. And look, we use the stars on the approach. 
Just kind of stops him. That taker's not doing us any favours. We got him, though. We got him. Yeah, we got you. Always reminds me of David Dean, people playing Constructors. <laughs> I think that's because it's his, uh, his logo, his badge. There you go. So that's one super encampment down. Okay, don't know if people are here to do this last encampment. Kind of feel like no one's there. Okay, we're definitely not going to do this on our own. Okay, well, we'll make some sort of maze. <laughs> we're going to have to get these two down. That's the one causing his issues. And the taker. Okay, we got full shield. Okay, now we've got some help. And I saw the blasters. Let's get in there. Okay, we are extremely low right now. Take this one from surprise. Can we get this one? Yes, we can. Alright, I'm sure we can. Alright, I think we took him down. And we've got the healing thing back up now, so that's good. Oh, and then we get to do it all again. <laughs> Alright, let's get into these blasters here. Another one down there. I'll get the taker. There he is. I think he's down. Yeah, let's have some more. Okay, so we just need to keep going. There you go. We get the smoke screen because we've got the resistance up then. Damn it. Really wish that we could actually get the uh, the shadow stands healed you as well. There we go. <laughs> so that's one blaster. So we're just kind of targeting the blasters right now. Kind of works. I think we've got... Oh, we've got the taker up here. Look. Right, we've got to take him down before we get this guy up. Okay, I think we got... There we go. Okay, 1 minute 58. I don't know if we're going to have enough chance to get the last one, but let's go and try. Alright, here it is. Let's just get straight in. We've got some extras over there as well, which we could do without. Oh no. <laughs> Not the best start. Alright, let's get the wave clear on. We've got Urban Assault as well, so that's going to be good. A bit of Urban Assault. Urban and Pepper. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Right, that take has been causing us all kinds of problems. There you go. He's off, he's off. Right, come on, come on. Here it comes. 30 seconds left. Oh, we're not going to do it. Because we've got another two waves to come, I think, on this one. Yeah, okay. 17 seconds. Okay, let's get the busters. That's what we do. Smoke bombs to get the resistance up. Let's get that. Let's get the constructor up super fast. Don't crawl away. <laughs> oh, we're out of time luck as well. Just as we took down the last blaster. Yeah, because even after this, we'll have another wave. <laughs> but all in all, you know, really good. You can kind of see how these characters work. Do you know, so the Master Grenadier uses the bombs and uses the area effect of the bombs. Dragon Scorch is like the king of the... You can see with the combat score on there. We were the highest level by quite a bit, to be fair, though. So at West level 67, that was uh, 64, can he? So, do you know, we did all right there, but 5k, you're never going to beat him when it comes to encampments and things where you're going to have to clear waves and waves and waves at a time. So, guys, let me know who your favorite wave clear hero is. Who's the hero who you like to use for encampments? Because encampments, as I said, for a lot of new players, do you know, they can be quite, um, you know, quite complicated at first as the encampments, like, scale up. And, you know, when you can do the first two or three on your own, and then it starts getting difficult, as I said, you people try and run in, jump in and do the level four encampment, and then it all really goes wrong. So, hopefully, this has helped a little bit. Shed some light for the newer players on there so don't forget guys let me know down below who your favorite encampment hero is i would love to know massive massive thanks for watching if you've not caught it already guys i've done an update video or dev update video earlier today make sure you go and check that out hit that subscribe button as you leave and i'll catch you guys on the next video thanks for watching guys
Okay then, so just as a tiny bit extra, I've got one road trip llama to open up. I used to get better luck when we do this on camera, so let's do this here. So let's just see. It might be nothing, it might be something. But I just thought we'd put the little bonus bit on the end and just see what we get. So a lot of trash to start with. Got the rare defender, another rare survivor. Okay, nothing great so far. Alright, epic survivor, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> the copper fishing hook. I can't wait for the update when it does that, so you get less chance of getting the things that you know about. Okay then guys, so that was another terrible road trip llama. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.